Hey friends, it's Toss Jenkins, and I would like to welcome you to our 25th reunion. Uh, this is perhaps not the reunion that you had hoped for, but we want you to know this is one of the most exciting times to be with us, and we are so excited to connect with you in this way. It's been a pleasure for us as we planned this reunion for you, all thoughts about making you feel all the feelings that we all feel when we think of Davidson, but especially when we think of each other. And so this is going to be a great night and know that it has been designed for you. The group that I've had the pleasure of being with, they brought tears to my eyes and perhaps that video just brought tears to your eyes. I'd like to thank the members of the engagement team, Karen Milham Alley, Bill Gullen, Chris Knox, Mark McGuire, Sarah Lynn Goodman, Bobby Ramsey and William Rovere. I'd also like to thank those persons who have led us into a tremendous uh, giving this year. Howdy Cooley, Gray Dryer, Christy Copes, Lexi Devane Mayo, and Becerra Brewer Haddad, and Emily Davis Palmer. Y'all just prepare to have fun, prepare to laugh, and just enjoy all of that it means to be a part of the class of 1996. I'd like to turn it over to Jill for the freak show. I hear that a lot, so thanks. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's so great to see everybody. I agree, I wish we were all in person and I look forward to maybe we choose a really random reunion to get together. I love seeing that some people have already gotten together, Ryan and Howdy and, and Pete and Bill having their own reunion, which is fantastic. Um, but we're going to kick off the freak show in just a second. Bobby had called me and reminded me that we did this our senior year um, and that uh, we hosted this. I am certain, Sarah, that you and Emily did a violin flute combo, <laughs> but I don't know. I, that's what's what I remember. Um, but we, we've got some really talented people, obviously, in our class and some very talented kids that we're going to see. So it's, it's going to be pretty exciting. But one thing I did remember, I was telling Bobby that I did, I think, where I wanted to win the award for most likely to be a talk show host. So we thought we'd start things off by kind of having a bit of a talk show. Um, so I'm going to randomly call on people. I'm going to try to scroll through this list and ask you just a few questions. Nothing bad. No big deal. Um, we're keeping it all above board. But I guess, um, let me see if I look, scroll through. Why don't, why, don't, why don't I start with Chris Knox um, and say, Chris, where were you most productive on campus and where were you least productive on campus? <laughs> Neil, you have to call on me? I, I don't have to. I can pick someone else. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Uh, so I was most productive in a carol in the library, which is why my background is a carol in the library. But I also was least productive in a carol in the library because <laughs> I do all of my naps in a carol in, a li in the library. Very good answer. Very good answer. Um, let me scroll through and see. Kali, how about you? Most productive and least productive. Can you unmute, Kali? Maybe you can't unmute. <laughs> Kali, Kali, I see you. <laughs> Don't hi, Kali. Come on out. <laughs> All right. We just had the doors. <laughs> We have pizza at the door. <laughs> a little loud. Pizza, pizza, pizza. <laughs> so come back to me. Okay, we'll come back to you. We'll come back to you. How about Matt Forey? Matt Forey, I, I don't see your face, but I see that you dialed in. Most productive and least productive? Perhaps you're ignoring me. It's happened before. Maybe you should go to Sarah. She's got the wine going, so she probably has something good to share. Maybe I should go to you. Most productive, least productive. Me? Matt, Matt did on mute. Oh. There we go. Go, Matt. I don't understand the question. <laughs> where on campus were you most productive, and where were you least productive? Gosh. Um, most productive... In, uh, I was at the 24-hour uh, study room in the library most of the time. Least productive um, in the apartment, I suppose. Fair enough. Fair enough. I believe I was kicked out of the 24-hour study room for being too loud. So probably was trying to make people productive. 
Never. Um, okay, well, we've got some other questions coming, guys, but uh, let's, I think we're going to kick it off with an original Freak Show video, not original, original, original Freak Show attendee, Dave Milling, um, who will put us all to shame with this first video with the talent that we see from he and his daughter. So Hannah, can we go to that now? Hello there, Davidson. Uh, I want to say thanks to my friend Mark McGuire for reaching out to uh, reconnect and to invite me to be a part of this uh, Freak Show reboot and uh, to Jill and Bobby for allowing me to send a video as a way to do that. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is David Milling and I attended Davidson from 1994 to 96. And I, even though it's a vague memory, I did perform uh, at the Freak Show 25 years ago. So glad to be able to do so again. Um, tonight, I'm actually performing with my daughter, Chloe. Um, we are working on a couple of her songs and um, even though they're not finished, we think they're they're worth sharing at this stage. And you'll hear us performing, but you'll also hear our band tracks uh, playing with us since we've been recording those tracks along the way. So um, uh, hopefully you will enjoy. Thanks. Rose petal lips that bloomed when we kissed, oh It was summer nights just like this Where I could still taste the honey burning on my tongue Blueberry eyes and sticky sweet ice Saw air blowing through me So I burned when I cried We hated being I guess I saw it coming When all we wanted to do was run and wish it all away I swore I would be okay Yeah, we cursed at the galaxy Cause yelling at stars was better than reality But every now and then I wish I was young again So, that was amazing. Feeling less and less talented by the minute. Um, so I think that was pretty amazing. Obviously that was passed down, the music gene. Um, so while we wait for our next Freak Show video, unfortunately some people had prior commitments tonight so they couldn't perform in person. The next question, I think I'll throw it out to Bill Gullen and his crew. What uh, teachers and class, professors and classes had the most um, impact or the longest lasting impact on you guys? Dr. Ross for me. Clark Ross for Peter. Clark, Clark Ross. The Dr. Wertheimer, all of his classes. American legal history is one I remember pretty well. Yeah, yeah. Senior economics seminar, including the live interview final exam, which I still have nightmares about. Yeah. Dean Terry had a profound impact on my liver. <laughs> <laughs> that is a long lasting impact. That is a long lasting impact. Very good answers. Very good answers. Um, William Robert, how about you? Uh, well, uh, Zoran Kuzmanovich was my advisor. Um, we're actually still in touch. Uh, so that's a pretty lasting uh, impact. I'm also still in touch with Herb Jackson. Uh, so I'd, I'd say them. That's fantastic. Kali, are you ready to come back for your, now that you have a guest and pizza, I assume. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah it's less it's less loud now <laughs> pizza's been delivered yes <laughs> so longest lasting impact from a class or a professor 
Um, gosh. <laughs> uh, I can't. <laughs> I can't even remember my professor's names. <laughs> That's okay. That's a little <laughs> lasting impact as well. Fair enough. How about Letitia Campbell? Um, this is a hard question. I think I was thinking about some of the people I had as Hume's professors. So like Bob Manning, um, Hansford Epps, Gail Gibson. Um, I think that whole sequence, like it really did, it really did give me, I don't know, it, it, it still shapes the way I see the world. So yeah, but I can think of a lot of classes that had, you know, influence. Um, so yeah, it's fun to think about that. That's a great question. Good answers, everyone. Okay, I think, Hannah, are we ready to go to our next, actually, father-daughter duo? Hello, everyone. Oh. Class of 1996, I'm very pleased to introduce Kate Dupuy, class of 2025. I've sworn an oath that this video will not go beyond a reunion. So please don't forward to all your friends as much as you're going to want to, because we're going to destroy it right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyway, we uh, were asked by Jill Dyer to perform a song for the uh, talent show. So I can never say no to Jill. Mm -hmm. So here we are, and we're going to play a, a back to school song that we used to play when Kate was much younger. Reprise this, uh, this song. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. amazing performance just making me want to have another drink because I can't do any of that so well done JD and Kate um as we kind of at toward, head towards the close of our mini freak show we do have one more um question and I, I really need two people I'm going to ask for volunteers because we're going to have a bit of a debate so I'm not going to tell you the topic yet but how about two first two to unmute First two to unmute. Anyone, anyone. Don't make me call randomly. Okay, I'll play along. <laughs> okay. Tosh, you'll be the four. I need an against. All right, here I go. Okay. 
The topic is should Davidson bring back the laundry? Full time oh. laundry. Hey, I'm against. You're against. Oh, dear God. <laughs> I don't know how it works, Bobby. Do we have the four first and then it doesn't matter? I'm not very legalistic. I don't understand. The laundry it's, is gone. The pro is first, yeah. Yeah, it's been gone for a while. <laughs> See, that I know about. <laughs> That I know about. <laughs> the pro goes first. I argue against what saved my life the first two years I was in school. Firstly, I think I've surprised a lot of people that the laundry is gone. Surprise. <laughs> it closed. Exactly. Me. Exactly. Exactly. Well, I would like to first start my arguments that we need to bring the laundry back to school because there are students who do not understand that even though there are coin-operated machines, you still don't have to pay. I spent the first part of my freshman year putting money in the coin-operated machines only to have some kind student say to me, you don't have to pay. She pulled the drawer out and there were all these quarters for me having paid sure. for the first semester. <laughs> like a nice nice way. so that's my first argument my second argument is i probably violated the honor code because if i wasn't that smart perhaps somebody else wasn't that smart and they too had to use the non-necessary coin operated machines my third argument for why we need to bring uh the laundry uh back is because there was the most incredible group of people there once you got there the first time I remember being so nervous about having to have someone do my laundry. It seemed like such a privilege. Um, but when I got there and when I encountered the laundry staff, I realized it was my opportunity to sew into them and have them sew into me. And so one of the reasons we need to bring back the laundry service is because it gives students a tangible opportunity to interact in a very private way in a very public way with some of the most important people of the campus. And that's the people who serve us on every level, not just in the classroom. I can't follow that. Oh, you had your hands, Erlen. I would say the anti-argument would be um, maybe a personal story that I just actually witnessed last week when I opened my daughter's closet and the small mountain of laundry fell on my head and I realized that she probably hadn't had clean underwear in about five days. So it's a skill. It's a life skill. It's a good thing to know how to do. You need to know how when you get out of college that it doesn't just magically show up in that beautiful brown paper bag all lovely and folded or that package. It's like Christmas when you go get your laundry. Somebody, somebody actually has to you know, open the machine, put it in, put the detergent in, and then this magic happens and it cleans itself. That would be my responsible, probably response to that. And I still have not taught my children and my older daughter is going to college in a year. She's about to have a very rude awakening that that doesn't just happen magically. Unless we can bring the laundry back. At oh, Maybe that will help. I can't believe it's not there. I saw the little building. What's in the little building? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> they actually gave they actually uh gave an award out to the lady who had um worked there for many years a they few years know. back um and it was exactly. such a big honor for an african-american woman to receive such honor so yeah I uh -huh. can you imagine the nonsense that poor those that poor group of people probably saw I, I, like, <laughs> <laughs> I think very very good arguments although i think probably we would all be more pro bringing the laundry back with maybe a class on how to do laundry. I don't know. Maybe we can balance that. Oh, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Tosh and Sarah Lynn. Um, we're going to let Dave Milling and Chloe bring us home on the Freak Show with their last song. So, Hannah, can we kick that off? Sleep from 
Okay, I think we had a little technical difficulty. I didn't know if that was me, but I guess we're all back now. Um, I feel like this is going to be another kind of Dave Matthews moment, like when we had Dave Matthews and everyone's like, who's Dave Matthews? And we were all like, oh, he came to play at Davidson. We're all going to be like, oh, who's Chloe Milling? And we're like, oh, well, we saw her live at the 1996 reunion. So um, a big thanks to JD and Kate and, and Dave and Chloe for that. I think that was pretty amazing. Everybody get ready for the 30th. We're gonna be tapping you all and your kids to do something there too. Um, that was kind of the end of the freak show. A big, a big thanks to Bobby for reminding me of the freak show and that apparently I am seated in our senior year and gave myself a nickname because that's what I did. That's what I did. So um, th a big thanks to everybody for, for, for participating. And I'm gonna hand it over to Sarah Brewer Haddad to talk about our gift. So thanks everyone. Thanks, Jill. Okay, so I don't remember this freak show. And I'm not the only one that doesn't remember this freak show. And I'm not going to guess why I don't remember the freak show, but I have no recollection of the freak show, just for the record. But, hi, I'm actually here to talk about the reunion class gift. I'm a member of the class gift team, and I'm here to share the results for my class gift. But before I do, you guys look great. It's so nice to see you even on Zoom. It's just been too long and I, it's nice seeing your faces. Um, but this year has been difficult in plenty of ways, but through it all, Davidson has continued to educate the whole student and produce graduates with the same humane instincts, creative minds, and shared values that instilled in us 25 <laughs> whole years ago. Um, and as my own children approach their college years, I am so reminded that Davidson was and really still is a unique and special place. And I'm so proud to give back to the place that has given so much to me. So, drum roll, our reunion class gift includes everything that has been given this 25th year, this year of our milestone year. We set ambitious goals. And I am pleased to share that we surpassed them, raising, wait for it, of $314,000 and $3 from 42% of our class. That's ridiculous. As of today, we've not only met our dollar goal, but we've set records. And it's, I'm just so proud of you guys. Thank you. We set records in terms of both the dollars raised for the fund for Davidson and Davidson as a whole. So on behalf of the committee and Davidson, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Our Davidson community is better because of your generosity and commitment to Davidson's future. Don't worry, if you haven't made your gift yet, there's still time. You have till June 30th for it to count in our class gift. Thank you all very much. 
It's a great day to be a wildcat. Every day is a great day to be a wildcat. So I will now pass it, punt it over to Jessica Kahn for an awards presentation. Thank you and good evening. I am thrilled to be here to announce that our 1996 Davidson classmate, Dr. Cynthia Castle has been recognized with the Distinguished Alumni Award. Hailing from Birmingham, Alabama, Cynthia created her own major at Davidson in medical ethics and was awarded a Fulbright scholarship to study bioethics at the world-renowned Monash University in Melbourne, Australia, where she earned a master's degree with high distinction. In 2007, Cynthia earned her PhD in maternal and child health with a minor in epidemiology from UNC Chapel Hill and was twice awarded the outstanding student paper in the maternal and child health section from the American Public Health Association. Cynthia came back to the Charlotte area for a while and taught at UNC Charlotte, but her true passion called and she headed to the Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta. At the CDC's birth defects branch, Cynthia focused on health service use, costs, access to care, and outcomes for children with birth defects. And in 2012, won the American Public Health Association Maternal and Child Health Section's Young Professional Award. In response to the Ebola outbreak in West Africa, Cynthia was deployed by the CDC's Emergency Operations Center to Sierra Leone in 2015. Her efforts there were recognized by the U.S. State Department with the Meritorious Honor Award for Outstanding Service. This work also resulted in her move to the CDC's Division of Global Health Protection. Cynthia returned to Africa in 2018 for the CDC's emergency response to Ebola in the Democratic Republic of Congo and has since been selected for the CDC's task force for COVID-19 position for which she was ready and much needed. In this capacity, Cynthia has helped prepare and review scientific materials and reports for CDC leadership, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, the White House, and the public on various matters related to the pandemic. Professionally, Cynthia has held leadership positions in several associations and has published numerous scholarly articles related to public health, epidemiology, and health security and access. She continues to be a strong advocate for those she supervises, recognizing the importance of their overall well-being and mentors the next generation of public health experts. Personally, Cynthia is devoted to her family, her Basset Hounds, and her friends, including those friendships formed at Davidson and those she has cultivated since, including on all her tennis teams. Cynthia is a generous person full of energy and enthusiasm with the best laugh. For her dedication to providing leadership and mentorship for the next generation of public health professionals, for her momentous contributions to and concern for the health and welfare of mothers and children around the world, and for her leadership and service, the Davidson College Alumni Association has recognized Dr. Cynthia Castle with the Distinguished Alumni Award on the occasion of our 25th reunion in June 2021. Congratulations, Cynthia. We're so very proud of and inspired by you. And now, Cynthia, will you show us your plaque? Yes, and you made me cry, Jessica. <laughs> Can everyone see it? That's so cool. Congratulations. Yeah, it's Congratulations. Thank you so much. And um, yeah, you've already made me cry. I've cried several times already over this. Um, so I do have a couple of remarks, if it's okay, just to, to thank you. And thank you for all the comments coming in the chat box. I'm really honored and really quite surprised to receive this award. I knew my freshman year that Davidson College was a very special place. Fast forward 29 years later, and little did I know that I would be such close friends and remain close friends with so many people from Davidson. They have kept me grounded and sane all these years, and most of all, kept me laughing throughout the good times, and especially these challenging times during COVID-19, our current pandemic. And as we witnessed and experienced this past year, and even this year, um, 
infectious diseases abroad can affect us here, Americans and us, Davidson graduates, both indirectly and directly. And honestly, I feel like I'm just doing my job every day on all aspects of my, both my professional and personal life. And by mentoring graduates and undergraduate students, as well as friends and family on public and global health issues. Honestly, if it were not for all the great class visit Davidson that I took, the ability to select an interdisciplinary major, my professors, my friends, and the strong, strong alumni network at Davidson College, I know I would not be where I am today. And let's not forget the Davidson Honor Code, which has helped me trust people at the outset and instill the highest standards and integrity in me and those that surround me, including all my friends and those on my tennis team and people that I work with. In conclusion, I want to thank first and foremost my parents who allowed me to pursue my undergraduate first choice of attending Davidson College. Albeit those of you that know me, I remain a diehard Crimson, Crimson Tide fan forever because I am from Birmingham, Alabama and I can't ever let that go. I also want to thank my Davidson College um, roommates for the Davidson College internship in DC in 1994 and who were also my senior year uh, roommates Leticia Campbell, Julie Kolokoff, and Jim Lehman, who have kept the conversations going on a variety of topics throughout the years from politics, economics, religion, human rights, personal struggles and accomplishments, just to name a few. And I'm trying not to uh, cry the last, but lastly, I really, really wanna thank the ladies of Ladies Weekend. Here's a picture of all of us. I don't know if you can see us because of all the reflections, but this is the annual Ladies of Ladies Weekend who nominated me for this award. We have been taking annual weekend trips for almost, if not, if not every single year since David and even while we were at Davidson for over 25 years. Lori Maddox, who was then Lori Blue, has been our steadfast glue. And yes, I did not know that rhymed. Our diversity, fortitude, and commitment to be there for each other throughout all these years is a testament to our friendships and the types of high quality friendships formed at Davidson. Millions of thanks to all these ladies of Ladies Weekend. As I've already mentioned, Laurie Maddox, Carolyn Carpenter, who was then Caroline Nichols, Polly Bryan, Jessica Kahn, Molly Gibney, who was then Molly Gillespie, and from the class of 1997, Kay Attaway, who was then Kay Walraven. To these ladies, I love you, a toast, to you and let's plan for our annual ladies weekend next year and keep the good times rolling for the next 25 years. Thank you so much. Yay! Congratulations, Cynthia. Thank, Thank you for being so gracious and so amazing and living out what it means to be a wildcat, which is to mean to live a life of service and leadership. And you do it with Absolutely. such grace. Thank here, you. Here, here. You know, as we were thinking about this reunion and thinking about how we wanted to connect and how we wanted to reconnect with each other, but reconnect with our memories, we thought the best way to do that was to go back to the rooms that we thought would define us at Davidson. And so as part of the breakout um, that we're about to do, you'll notice that we'll have background pictures of areas, uh, various areas on the campus. When I think of my days at Davidson, um, I think of a 24 hour room, I think of the student union, um, just places like that, hallways, all the places I would see people on campus. And I hope that as we move to the breakout rooms, you'll be sent to one specific room. But if you get there and realize, hey, I want to go over to this room over here as well, then feel free to leave that room. So you'll initially be assigned to one room and then you'll have the freedom to switch to another room. So we hope that you will make your way about campus and wake your way about your memories. Thank you.